Now listen, they are paying attention. Now that she went in her lawsuit, allegedly, <laughs> something going on behind the scenes for this positive press. But Yahoo to write this and say, well, maybe we need to look at this a little bit more closer. You ready? Because you about to be an atl -L -E -L. Speaking of the Nini effect, honey, people are starting to pay attention. See, I didn't even put her on the agenda today, but I'm, I'm talking about it. Okay, I'm going to talk about it because we are team nini around here okay listen the people are paying attention i know they they probably uh members of my youtube channel i bet you they are i bet you they are uh over there on uh yahoo they have wrote a whole editorial about nini leaks and why she deserves our support now they gave our girl her props honey they gave her our, our girl her props look at this it said, uh, we need to support Nene Leaks. It was written on Tuesday, honey. And uh, in the in the article, basically, it's just telling us a lot about Nene's history. You know, uh, she's involved in this lawsuit that has kind of like, you know, fractured her relationship with the network, okay? But in addition to that, like, you know, everybody knows that, you know, she was very loyal to that network for years and years and years. She was almost the face, pretty much the face of that network for years and years and years. They they used her slogans. Uh, there's memes everywhere. There's memes on your phone right now. We send back and forth for every single emotion you can think of. We use a Nene Leaks gift, honey. We use, a, I said what I said, all of the above. And in this article, it says, regardless of your feelings about Nene or her position, uh, she still owed the same grace that so many of her non-black counterparts receive. Think about it. We got Teresa Gadiche flipping tables. And, you know, they don't call her violent. They don't say that she has an attitude. They don't say all those things. She was stealing money, allegedly, her and her husband. Her husband got deported. And, you know, they still brought her back to the show. Uh, she pushed Andy down uh, during a uh, reunion. She pushed Andy. She pushed the uh, the CEO, the, the, the executive, uh, whatever Andy is. <laughs> She pushed him down, honey. And did she get penalized? Did they take her off the show? Did they tell everybody that, you know, she is violent and she doesn't deserve to be on every episode? Of course they did not. They don't do the same things that they do the uh, people of color, black girls, black women, okay? Um, in the article, it also says, you know, we've seen Nene's white colleagues on RHOA or otherwise destroy property, perpetuate racist tendencies and everything under the sun with little to no reprieve. Yet when Nene alleges racism, her cries fall on deaf ears. Ooh, it said, never mind that Nene and her larger than life personality became synonymous with the brand. Now listen, they are paying attention. Now that she went in her lawsuit, allegedly, <laughs> something going on behind the scenes for this positive press. But Yahoo to write this and say, well, maybe we need to look at this a little bit more closer. Maybe we need to pay attention. Maybe there's something to what she's saying. Because clearly, all of the people who are in the comment section saying, oh, she's just doing this because, you know, she wants her job back. She's just doing this because she wants a check. She's just doing this. No, she's been saying this for years. No, I didn't write the article. I don't even know the person who wrote the article. I bet you they a squad member though. I bet you because we've been, listen, we've been laying out all of the receipts for years now, okay? He said, did, she, the, did you see the shade she threw at Bethany about getting a CNBC show? Child, I did not. Child, what she say? She going to win. It's a done deal. She has too much proof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was assault. Teresa DJ should have been arrested. Okay. Well, I'm just listen. I was. Let me go ahead and go through the article since we here. Since we are here. Okay. Um, other things they were saying in here. Look, her influence. Like somebody wrote, uh, Nene Leaks is so influential. Because of her, I'll never have a white refrigerator. 
Okay, they said we because of her, we have a mean for every situation with what I said earlier. For example, it's likely because of Nini that we're in a housing crisis because we all refuse to purchase homes with white refrigerators. <laughs> in all seriousness, Nini is a pioneer and should be regarded as such. So basically, this person is saying y'all need to give our queen a Nini leaks her props and stop put, put some respect on her name. Look. What she represents for the culture, Black Lives Matter. You remember when Nene was out there? Nene even said in her lawsuit that, you know, she wanted that to be a part of her story. And Bravo wouldn't let her. Bravo cut it out. Bravo didn't want her talking about, you know, Black Lives Matter because they know that Nene knows a lot of things that's been happening behind the scenes. So Bravo sought to silence her about speaking on those types of things, allegedly, you know, according to what the um, lawsuit says. Uh, other things, they said Nene is black culture. She is a black woman who has beat and still faces insurmountable odds while coming out on top as the victor she is. Outside of her extensive resume, her situation with Bravo shines a light on the plight of many black people that many black people face in the workplace. Amen to that. Amen to that. If you are black and you are in corporate America, trust and believe you have experienced some form of racism, which is why we threw a side eye at Candy Burris when she said that she had never experienced racism uh, throughout her time at Bravo. Thank you, Sarita Allen. I appreciate you. Now, uh, I like as a person, uh, African American, Black, whatever you want to call me, dark skin, African, Black, uh, what, whatever. Okay, uh, African descendant of slaves, whatever you want to call me. As a person who has faced similar plights in corporate America, I would look at like who would ever say. I've never experienced racism at, 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 at my uh, company, but I to say that they were racist. I didn't, I, I didn't agree with that at all. But I guess you would say it if you still there and you trying to get a check. I guess. See, I don't like to um, throw in the whole racism um, argument. Sometimes people do say things that they do not know um, offends uh, people from other races. This whole racism thing in this day and age is bullshit. I guess. But there's that. I ain't gonna drag Candy because, you know, Candy gotta pay for all her family and friends and cousins and employees and everybody else. Child Candy is the cash cow in her family. So we gonna let her live for now, okay? Um, but you know what they call Candy? <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. But you know what they call a Candy. Anyway, we're expected to carry our subpar white colleagues on our backs while simultaneously enduring discrimination. Ooh, child. See, that is why, when you break it down, that is why, thank you, Benita Howard, that is why she mentioned Kim Zosiak Bierman without having to sue Kim Zosiak Bierman, or as we affectionately call her around here, KKK Kim, was because, like others in corporate America, we carry... We are expected to carry our subpar white colleagues on our backs while simultaneously enduring discrimination. That sentence right there says it all. And remember, Candy even did the same thing. Candy wrote the song, uh, Tar Don't Be Tardy. Uh, gave it to Kim, produced the song, and Kim ran off with the money and all Candy got was tears. <laughs> All Candy got was tears until Bravo decided to make it right when they gave Kim her own show and used Candy's song as the theme song. Y'all ain't paying attention to all this stuff that's going on around here. Y'all need to. Anywho, uh, other things they say, we finally get exhausted and speak up. When we finally get exhausted and speak up, we're labeled as combative or a liar. And the sad part is that commodification continues to happen. Even when we exit these toxic environments, the company still profits from our achievements. That's why we should support Nini. Oh, that is deep. That is real deep because the part that says the company still profits from our achievements. Think about that for a minute. 
Nene is not there anymore, right? They're still using Nene to promote pretty much. They're still using Nene in flashbacks. Hell, Candy on Candy on her YouTube channel is still using Nene in her videos. Like Nene isn't profiting from these achievements, but other people are. Other people are using her face. Other people are using her likeness. Other people are using her voice. Okay. Haters have white refrigerators. Anywho, bloop. Um, but you know, th this article is deep. This article is really deep. And I would suggest that you all read it. Let me put the link in the chat for, for you to visit this article. Uh, I, I, look, I didn't intend to go through the whole thing today, but uh, since we here, I might as well. Uh, what else did they say? Hold on. That was it pretty much. They said, I know that it's become a sort of trend on social media to mock the accounts of black women who face hardships, especially discrimination. That's a fact. When we continue to discount black women's experiences because we haven't parted with our own internalized massage noir, it sends a clear message to non-black folks. What this person who wrote this is saying is those of you who are of color and those of you who sit there and say that Nene, she was nasty and disgusting. She deserved what she get. Nene, uh, uh, and y'all are people who, of color who have experienced similar things. It gives other people, non-black people, the reason to doubt our stories as well. It says they will be led to believe that since we don't take black women seriously, they shouldn't either. They will see our lack of interest in protecting them as a sign of dehumanizing them at every turn. Whether you like Nini or not, I'd encourage you to offer up some su support as you want it for yourself should a similar situation arise. Bravo, bravo. Look, look, what's who wrote this? Hold on, bravo. Kenny Williams Jr. Kenny Williams Jr. Shout out to Kenny Williams Jr. for writing this over on YouTube uh in support of Blavity. Okay, shout out to Kenny Williams because this article said it all. Y'all need to read that article. You said you rewind it to the beginning of the article, okay? Uh, what do y'all think about that article? Oh, Nene, stay trending. Can Candy is digging a hole for herself. Oh, thank you so much. I'm pretty and smart. Okay, ain't no good men down to trying to wipe her up. Child. I am happily divorced. Okay. <laughs> when my man come, anyway, I, I listen, my personal business, my personal business. Y'all trying to marry me off. Then I ain't gonna have time to come on here live with y'all. Leave me single for a little while, okay? Uh, Kenny is for the culture, okay? Yes, it was 100% on point, okay? Uh, anyway, shout out to Kenny Williams for, uh, she did not pay for that. <laughs> y'all are so wrong. Why is that? Look, she don't pay me and I'm team Nene. I try to tell y'all every single time about all of these racist uh situations over at bravo we even reviewed a compilation of racist moments that i'm i clipped up my uh, video i'm gonna post it in the morning but anyway i'm digressing look let me go on and review this racist show while we here you said nini was the highest paid housewife black or white but they discriminated against her she has an uphill battle i agree whether you are team nini or not okay whether you like Nene Leaks or not, it doesn't take away from uh, from anything to give her the grace and the support that she needs when she is calling out Bravo for the racist things that they have done in the past. It's evident a lot of the things that they have done is black and white. It's on camera. It's on camera. Kim Zosiak Beerman is on camera. Kim pushed the cameraman and called the latest an uh, N-word. It, uh, Bravo has all the receipts they need. But anywho, you said Nene posted the article on Twitter. Okay. Well, Nene, if y'all go to Nene Leaks uh, Twitter, it is also on there. But moving on, as y'all get in here, please, please, please like this video. We're